wheel guys this is my 1964 Mercury Montclair this is a project I picked up um, I'm fixing it up to be my daily driver it's really got potential it's a really beautiful car the inside is just like it's very decent the seats are just perfect the back seats are just immaculate um, that window back there is cracked but that's no big deal um, so yeah this will be kind of an introduction and I hope you like my little intro video um, that's my first time trying anything like that so if you like that let me know um, I'll just give you a tour <coughs> I've got it up on a jack right now because I have to get that brake jump machine because it has some ridges in it. Um, this is it. It's a big car. I can't get it in my frame. But I'll show you. Door shut real nice. Yeah, there it is. Um, it's a 1964 Mercury Montclair, two-door hardtop. There's no B-pillar, so when you roll down those windows, it's just an open space. Um, these cars are, have what was called the breezeway rear window, and it's power and it rolls down. So that is a unique feature this car has. The wheels are Magnum 500s off of a uh, 67 Mercury Cougar, and they're pretty nice. Here's the back end of it. Now, I love this car. It is really sweet. It's just beautiful. Uh, as a car guy, that just, this car just makes me so happy, and it just makes me, like, calm. I don't know how to explain it, but that's what it feels like. When you have something you care about, it just makes you feel good. But yeah, here's that rear window, and here's that crack. I'm not sure what happened. It's not a bullet hole. I think a rock hit it or something. But uh, it's still in intact. I'll just kind of get a, a sweeping motion of it. Let you see the inside from here. The interior colors are called medium blue and light blue metallic, which they're just beautiful colors. Oh my gosh, this is such a pretty car. Um, got lots of chrome on the inside. Big old steering wheel. Um, and it's a little dark, so you can't really see anything, but it's a really good looking car. The only, like, bad rust it has is right here. And the bottom of this fender is crusty. But you could patch that with some sheet metal, which I plan on doing. Um, really, all the car needs is a, a mechanical tune-up and some body work. Because it was hit. I don't know if you can see that right there. There's a bunch, like the metal was kind of out of shape. Because it was hit at some point. Um, The engine is a Ford 390 big block, the FE series. It's got a two barrel carburetor on it, which is the original. It's got the FOMOCO, which stands for Ford Motor Company. Carburetor on there, so that's pretty neat. 
Um, it does run. Um, I can't start it up right now because I don't have any gas hooked to it. And the battery is dead. My battery situation is kind of bad. I'm using a side post battery and it's not really safe. And it's dead and I was away from home earlier. Came back home and my battery charger took a poop. So I don't have a battery charger anymore because it broke or something. It just quit working. I think it burnt up. Uh, it's got power brakes. It's got power steering. And that's about it. Um, the power steering works, but it leaks. And the brakes, um, I have to figure those out. Mm, what I've done so far is put a new water pump on it. You can't really see it, but it's right there. It's black. That's why you can't see it. I removed the AC compressor. It had an air conditioner too. And it, the AC compressor is still good, but um, this line back here has got a big old hole in it. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. Like a squirrel chewed it out. But yeah. This is it. Um, I actually recorded a video like several days ago, but it was on my iPad. So, of course, Apple being stupid or something, it wouldn't let me upload the video to YouTube. So, I'm recording it on a different device, and hopefully, this will work. So... That's going to be it for this like intro video, and you will see more in the future. Thanks for watching.